Okay, so are you ready to sharpen your basic math skills? Well, hopefully you are, and this problem right here is a great opportunity to show off your great math talent. Okay, so let me go ahead and read the problem uh, to you here. It is 45 people are on a bus, two thirds of them depart, next seven get on, then two get off. How many people are still on the bus after all that activity? So this is the problem, and if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the right answer in just one second, and then of course I will explain the solution uh, to this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy a good math challenge from time to time, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here is the problem. So we have this bus, people are getting off, people are getting on, then people are getting back off. How many people remain after all this activity? Well, if you did this right, you would have came up with the answer of 20. All right, so how'd you do? Well, if indeed you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that you still are a professional expert in the area of solving basic math word problems. And uh, I'm pretty sure your family like, you know, I always knew you, uh, you were good in math. And you can just tell them, yes, well, you know, I'm watching this guy on YouTube. He really does help me out. Anyways, all jokes aside, if you didn't get this correct, all right, don't be sad. This is not that difficult. By the end of this video, you'll look like this. Now, I bet you some of you um, actually did this problem in your brain, okay, which is pretty impressive. But if you had to do this using a piece of paper or a calculator, that's perfectly fine as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution. And of course, the first thing we need to do is understand the problem. So that brings me to my uh, rule of three. And uh, in mathematics, probably one of the uh, biggest mistakes that students do is they read the problem one time uh, and then they'll just start doing stuff, okay? Never do that. You always want to read the problem once and then be like, okay, I think I understand what's going on. Read it again, kind of confirm that, and then read it one more time and make sure you understand the question. And of course, you can always identify the question in the problem by going to the question mark and backing up. So how many people are on this bus? And again, we have uh, some people on this bus, people are getting off, people are getting back on the bus, et cetera, et cetera. So we got to read uh, this problem and kind of, you know, visualize it, interpret it. And that um, brings us to the next step here is when you are dealing with a math word problem, you always want to try to model the problem visually. OK, if you can, sometimes it's um, easier with, uh, you know, other problems versus, you know, other types of problems. It's not so easy to uh, model. But in this particular case, you can just be creative. Right. In other words, uh, you know, kind of sketch out visually what you think is, you know, would model what's going on here. OK, so let me kind of show you what I did. And this is how I kind of think about it. So we have this bus going down the road here, and it has 45 people on it, right? So that's what the problem says. We've got 45 people that are on a bus. That's the starting point. So then two thirds of those folks depart. Okay, so here's our bus, has 45 people. Two thirds of these people are going to get off the bus. Then what happens next? And of course, this is like in chronological order. Next, seven people get on the bus, all right? So we're gonna have to come over here. Seven people get on the bus. And then lastly, uh, we have two people are going to uh, depart the bus right here. So after all these people getting off and on and off and on the bus, how many people remain? Okay, so this is kind of a visual representation of what's going on. And hopefully you kind of came up with something similar, but if you had a, another way, uh, another creative way to kind of interpret the problem, that's perfectly fine as well. But it's always um, really advantageous to come up with a model, uh, a visual model, a graphical model, if you can 
uh, to kind of um, describe the problem because that way you can kind of see the solution. And here, uh, basically what we have is just kind of a chronological um, ongoing math problem. And let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to do. Okay, so here we have our bus with 45 people uh, that are on it. The first thing we need to understand is two thirds of these folks are going to get off the bus. Okay, so how many people uh, is that? Well, we're going to have to figure out this basic math question right here. What is two thirds of 45? Okay, all right, so what is two thirds of 45? Well, uh, to get the answer to that question, what we have to do is simply multiply two thirds by 45. Okay, now we're multiplying a fraction by a number. You can always think of any number as a fraction by just simply putting it over one. So if you have like the number five, you're like, hey, I want to think of that as a fraction. No problem. Just put it over one. So now you have a, a numerator and denominator. So we're going to take that two thirds and multiply it by uh, 45 or 45 over one. And then to multiply fractions, you simply multiply the numerator and uh, the respective numerators and denominators. So two times 45 is 90. Three times one is three. 90 divided by three is 30. Now, some of you could have said, well, look, I know 45 and here's three. Three goes into 45, 15 and 15 times two is 30. And that is fantastic as well. So either way, as long as you came up with uh, 30 as the right answer, well, then we are on our kind of uh, road, if you will, <laughs> to figuring out the solution. Okay, so what do we just do here though? We have this bus, 45 people, two thirds of these folks got off and we just figured out that's 30, right? So let's go ahead and just take one step, uh, you know, here and not try to do everything at once. Just kind of, you know, take it one step at a time. And that is something that really, really will help you solve any math problem, okay? Don't take too many steps at once. Just stop and think and be like, okay, did I take the first step, right? And if you're confident, then move on to the next step. All right, so here is the situation. At this point of the problem, we have this bus, two thirds of those folks leave, right? So we figured out that two thirds of 45 is 30. So 45 people are on the bus and 30 leave. How many people are still on this bus? Well, our total population of passengers now is 15 people, right? So a lot of people got off the bus, but 15 remain. Now, how do we get this answer? Well, if 30 left, if we started off with 45 and 30 left, so that's gonna be 45 minus uh, 30, which of course is 15. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. We have 15 people that are on the bus. Now, uh, what's going to uh, happen next? Well, seven people are going to get on, and then after that, two people are going to leave the bus. Then we're gonna figure out uh, how many people remain. And hopefully you see that this is going to be a very easy prompt to finish. And let's go ahead and do that now. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you, if you could, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This really does help me reach uh, you know, people like yourself, okay? People that might be interested in math, you know, maybe find math fun, maybe just like to, you know, work on, you know, keeping our brain sharp by doing different math problems. Or maybe you are a math student and you're struggling, okay? Uh, but, you know, either way, when you do subscribe to my channel, it does help uh, that algorithm basically, you know, give me more reach so I can uh, find people, okay, that are interested in math and maybe like my teaching style, okay? I've been doing this for decades and I really try to emphasize uh, you know, one thing, my rule of teaching is trying to teach in a clear and understandable way, okay, in a non-textbooky type of manner, so all people can like and understand mathematics. But anyways, thank you so much, and if you're going to subscribe, you might as well just hit that notification bell as well, so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. Not too much more to do here, right? So here is the problem. We started off with a bus of 45 uh, people. Two-thirds of those folks get off and depart the bus, that's 30, right? So 30 leave, so that leaves us with 15 people uh, on the bus. So seven more people are going to get on the bus. So we're gonna add seven to those folks, but then two of uh, people are going to leave. So we can just subtract two from this uh, group right here. So 15 plus seven minus two, and if we do our arithmetic correct, uh, we get 20. All right, now again, you know, whether you did this in your brain or, you know, a piece of paper or, 
you know, you um, use the calculator. It doesn't make a difference. If you got the right answer, that's excellent. And if you didn't get the right answer, if you're like, boy, I'm terrible in math, you know, I'll never look like this person over here. Listen, I make these videos in particular for people like this. I'm t please do not give up in mathematics, okay? Whatever you do, if you struggled in math, you know, there's a lot of reasons for that. You can, by the way, too, if you are an older uh, person, okay, in other words, you've been away from school for many years, you can't look back and, you know, when you were in, you know, school and be like, oh, I did terrible in school. Therefore, there's my confirmation that I'm bad in math. No, what you need is motivation to want to learn math. You need great math instruction. You need a lot of things explained step by step, and you need to see a lot of practice problems ex explained step by step, and you need to do a lot of practice problems. So if you're willing to do the work, okay, and you have someone giving you encouragement, and you're willing, again, to stick with math for a good period of time, you will get better in mathematics. Now, uh, if you had a tough time with this particular problem, uh, it's a pretty good indication that you need to review some basic math skills. And I want to highly suggest uh, checking out my Math Foundations uh, mini course. It's like a little mini boot camp basic math course. I go over um, uh, percent, fractions, order of operations, uh, place value, all that kind of basic stuff. You'll find a link to that in the description below. So that would be a good starting point if you really do want to kind of get into mathematics. All right. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.